Carl Sagan had uh, been very influential in getting the Viking landing on Mars and the two Voyager spacecraft launched. And so he noticed public interest in space exploration, especially planetary exploration, was very high, but government support of it was waning. And he had this big idea for a solar sail spacecraft, and that was set aside for more human missions. Bruce Murray, who was head of the Jet Propulsion Lab during these famous missions, Viking and Voyager, Lou Friedman, who was an orbital mechanics guy. Engineer. Yes, at uh, both a PhD. They decided that there was enough interest in space exploration that they could start the Planetary Society. Enough grassroots interest. The Planetary Society had tens of thousands of members by the end of, pick a number, 1982. The Planetary Society has been around now that we'll have our 45th anniversary this spring. And what we do is promote planetary exploration. And just notably, just uh, last week as we're recording this, the, the Europa Clipper mission left for the moon of Jupiter with twice as much ocean water as Earth. And that is in part, let's say entirely, because of the Planetary Society where our members wrote letters and emails to U.S. Congress especially, got this mission funded uh, 11 years ago, and now it's flying. 